Hello, everybody. We're going to let some people get into the room, and then we will get started and underway for the day. We have all kinds of stuff for sale. Lots of toys. Obviously, we have comics that I can pull over. We have photo tray lots. We have postcards. And as we list all the toy stuff, they can get put on that paper too. Mm -hmm. So just you know, make another another row. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody. We will get underway in just a few minutes. Let's see if I am zoomed in or zoomed out on the camera. There we go. So we should have some fun today. I don't know if we'll have as much fun as yesterday, but we should have some fun today. Hi, Talbert's mom. Hi, MC. Hi, Greg Lusk. Hi, Jim Episali. Mr. Kyle Elliott. Jim Doge. Vet Picks. You were having horrible dreams about a certain postcard lot last night. Mm. Hey, at least you were dreaming about it. Hi, Robert. Yeah, Robert, I don't actually look through the boxes, so whatever's in the box is what comes up. Hi, Cindy. Let's see. <laughs> Let's get our drink on, Amber says. <laughs> Hello, Richard. So we have a bunch of people coming in. Now you got to buy it. Yeah. As soon as we get a few more people in, we're actually a little bit early today. We actually are actually on time. Yep, Todd, we did receive your payment today. Your items are already packed and shipped. Well, Kyle, at least you're making money. That matters at the end of the day. But yeah, we had a good time. One of the postcards had us laughing hard. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Hi, Carol Ann. Hi, Mama Duck Flipper. And for everybody who is lurking in the background that did send us a registration, please just comment that you sent a registration. Wrench so you were able to bid. Hi, Amber. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. She was gagging. <laughs> Hi, Talbert's mom. All oh, the jokes were just too much for her. She couldn't swallow it. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Carl? <laughs> Hi, Betty Techie. Hi, Lindsay. More like imaginary stuff that immediately gets removed. <laughs> well, you know, that's that's everything. Okay, we've got 55 in here. Let's get us started and rolling. I know Chris Chatworth's probably hiding or lurking in the background. Um, I believe I forgot to let Crispy know, so he'll probably miss out on toys today. Different toys. Some newer, some older. Pam made some lots. We have some statues. And just a little bit of everything. I believe that there's some jewelry today. Are there beads? Yep. There's some beads today. Pam was a busy little bee. So some of these things, I will know what they come from, and some I will have no clue. For instance, this base goes to something that I have no clue. And then there's Enter the Dragon. 
Not I don't know Kyle. I didn't see any mods yet. <laughs> Here is a 1983 Fleetwood Toys. So this is probably for a part of some game. We have Dragon Rider's Shield. We have one of the old Viewmaster viewers. A bunch you can put batteries in, and it would actually create the light for you. I'm not going to break it, though. I'm trying to open it. We have some kind of old Munsters car. This is probably for one of the like Lemax spooky town houses. Sure, Amber, you can mod. We have no Mama G yet? No Mama G or Janine. No Janine? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, $15. So that's what's going to cost to ship it. This is an older action figure as well. I can't remember what series this guy was from. But you can see he's got like the little skeleton face with robot -y arms. There are blue bases for some kind of a toy. There's an orange base for the same kind of toy. I have no clue what this vehicle is from. It, it almost reminds me of like the Dark Seed Destroyer. Um, it's got a decal on the bottom, but I don't see any markings on it. It's definitely older. It's a Robin base. It's a, oh, here is one of the Dukes of Hazard boys, but his, the pin that holds his leg together is missing because I saw it in the bottom of the box, just a little flesh colored pin. So you can actually pull his leg out. So one of the Dukes of Hazard Migos. I'm not sure what this tree is from. Possibly from that same game. This looks like a fire helmet mask for would be my guess for some kind of action figure. I don't know all of the vintagey action figures. This has a squeeze bulb. Probably shot a propelled a rocket from there. Um, let's see. This is super cool. So, this is a handheld electronic game for Masters of the Universe. I don't know if it was supposed to have like a little stick here, but it says move over here. So, I am not sure. And her old rocks. So, Mattel Electronics, Masters of the Universe, old electronic handheld game. Info for last week. I did not have Pam Hewitt's info for last week, but T just sent it to me. Okay, so you'll send her one tonight or tomorrow? Yep. Yep, Pam, I will send it. I didn't have yours, so T just sent it to me this morning. We have the vintage stripe from Gremlins. Rubber figure, and this is the larger size. You can tell by the size of my hands. We have a Adventure Team G.I. Joe guy or Steel Max. I'm not sure which series that guy's from. A instruction for the Bots Master, some kind of vintage 1990s toy. We have a background for some kind of Oriental figure set. These are probably also backgrounds for action figure sets this is a stand for weapons this is a conveyor belt to some kind of a vintage toy I'm not sure what vintage toy that goes to more of the oriental background here is a base that some figure stands on and you would have pushed the button and it would have talked but the batteries are probably dead in it this looks to be from the same kind of line as this there is a tricorder for a Mego Star Trek figure. There is a small rubber Orco figure from Masters of the Universe. Um, your sound is low, and the Master Game is I do not know if the Master Game works because I just found it when I was making these boxes, and there's a ton of tray lots of stuff. It came from this the um, comic book lot. Isn't that? 
that other lot that I'll be pulling up. Okay. Um, so that's where everything came from. It actually doesn't look like it's in bad shape, but the battery casing has a screw that you have to undo, like a little tiny jeweler's screw before you can take the battery out. So I would believe that you would need to take that out because it needs a new battery. I'm sure it needs a battery. Mountain Man at 25. But like I said, you get a couple Migos. And then last but definitely not least in the slot, I believe this is for the larger scale, like the 12-inch G.I. Joe figures or Soldiers of Fortune figures. So here is a bunch of weapons, bazookas, guns, knives, um, crossbows. I'm not sure what the crossbow but there's a bunch of accessories, hats, ton of guns and weapons in here for those. So that's what you get in this lot. This guy could go with this this guy. I'm not sure what he's from. But kind of has that look to it. But this is definitely an older figure. I don't see any markings on him, which is strange. And then there, there is Duke, or Luke Duke. This is Luke Duke, I think. And there's his leg. It's there. The car is cool. Hawthorne Village is what that's from. 2004 Hawthorne Village. You get Stripe. The monsters. Nice. I didn't even see it. Viewmaster player, the battery operated one. A couple more bases. There are a ton of little parts and things coming up today in different lots just because I don't know a lot of the newer superhero type action figures and spawn action figures. This is older. This is from 1983 Fleetwood. So this is probably from like maybe this is like catapults, um, like bows and catapults or whatever it was called. Dragon Rider Shield, a little older. The Masters of the Universe handheld electronic game. Whatever this vehicle is right here. These bases, I have no clue what they're from. And this base, I also have no clue what it's from. So that's what you're getting in the slot. Shipped to your door. 35 with Mountain Man. 40 with Fab. So 42 with Mountain Man. Cam likes Stripe, and I like the little Masters of the Universe handheld game. I thought you like Gizmo. The main people. Mm-hmm. It's because Annie sounds like Gizmo. <laughs> so we have Fab Yeti finds in at 45. Okay, Mama G, we got it. Everybody was helping. <laughs> oh, your car warranty? They called me, too, asking about your car warranty. <laughs> So we have 45 with Fab Yeti Fines. I hope everybody had a great night last night. Had some good laughs yesterday. Your hands are freaking cold again. Why are your hands so cold? Because I haven't been putting down my pants lately. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Ew. We're at 50 with Mountain Man. <laughs> Looking for 55 would be the next bid. If you're out, just say out, and we will 
I think we're down to two people, right? Fab Yeti and Mountain Man. Hi, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh, exactly, <Come> drink. <laughs> Where's Carl Bach at today? <laughs> How's he supposed to get drunk if he's not here playing? <laughs> no, that causes it to burn when you touch it. <laughs> Kyle's feeling a bit stiff from yesterday. <laughs> That is true, Amber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to be sold, sold, sold to Mountain Man Treasures for $50, I believe. <laughs> Sipping away at his bush. I, there's so many things I could say to that that I'm just not going to. <laughs> so this is a cool lot that I got from the one estate sale um, that I went to with Pam, actually. These are... Fantasy and medieval medieval times figures. These are made by Pay or Papo Papo Papo. Yep, Papo Papo in France. So we have a couple horses. So these are Italian. There are three of those. The awesome dragon. The dragon's my favorite because I like dragons. Move step there. And he's got two heads because he thought two heads are better than one. Then we have horses and riders. This is the wrong rider for this horse, but I do have the correct horse for him. Let's see. Where is it at? Here. Put it on his correct horsey. Or wait, this isn't his horsey. Where's his horsey? I think he gets the small horsey. There you go. So you have knights and riders. You have a evil knight, and he probably gets this horsey because it's a black horsey. So you have all of these horses, and these are all made by Papo, which is a sub-company of Schleich, Schleich, the company that makes Smurfs in Germany. Are they all Papo? Yes. Yep. Yep. A bunch of them still have tags on them. Like, see, this guy still got tags. Archers. Another bad guy. I feel like it's Lord of the Rings time. You shall not pass. Okay. And this looks like the old guy from Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> no. My, my, riding, my riding days of cowboys is way over. You, you got a flying Pegasus unicorn. This is kind of awesome. You have a king figure. And Popo and Schleiss are the same company. And they're actually pretty expensive. We have an eagle. We have another king as a rider. We have a knight. Conquistadore. You have the evil looking rider guy. But his sword is broken, but the bottom of the other piece of his sword is down in there. Another one. And then a couple more horses. So you get two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 
27, 28, 29, and 30. You have 30 pieces in this lot. We're at 50 with that. Okay. Yeah, these are awesome. The the horse and riders are really cool. This is this is the one that goes with him. This is his horsey. <laughs> Go get him, Hercules. This must be the main bad guy because he's got two helmets on. He's got the bull head helmet and the regular helmet. Let's see and the double mace. And it's all black. He's the guy that belongs to that postcard from yesterday. <laughs> Which noise? <laughs> the horsey noise? I'm the horsey noise. The horsey noise. <laughs> Kyle, you just start sending over five dollars every few minutes, and I'll I won't do it for as long as you're sending that five dollars every few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Danko in at seventy five. I don't think he likes your horsey. He didn't like my horsey. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Maybe we'll bring ice in one day and let ice make horsey <laughs> noises. We'll have my daughter bring her horse. Yeah, right. Did you not get else? Is that horsey? He is dopey, too. I said, well, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have 80 with Robin. Fab Yeti is out, so it's between Robin and Danko on this lot of 30. This one's awesome. I don't know why, but I wonder <laughs> who rode that. It, it reminds me of she -Ra's horse. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> I'm a brony. There we go. Now, I guess that's my little pony. They're not... Are they unicorns? No, they're just like little ponies. I guess there are unicorn ones. I don't know. I don't watch freaking My Little Pony. My sister watched that. I know because he likes Little Ponies. I know who Rainbow Dash is. <laughs> so I have 85 in with Danko. Robin is out. There you go, Nancy. Girly toys. Sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Carl came in after sold. Oh, Carl. Carl got to be faster. No sniping. No sniping, swiper. I, well, I know that, but they're not swiping. They're sniping. I need stuff. Stuff to sell. Okay. Then. That was the bush talking. I know. Uh, <laughs> he said ignore me. <laughs> Carl, just speaking from experience, if the bush talks to you, run. <laughs> It's not supposed to talk. Okay. So these are the Russ Berry, Wallace Berry statues and Paula statues from the 1960s into the early 70s. You can see it's marked right there in 1971. You get everything on this tray, $20 start. We got We Need Each Other. A couple. They're cute. You get the World's Greatest Sweetheart. You get the nothing serious, just a little chat with the boss. Obviously, he get his ass chewed. That's what they're insinuating. We have you're an all-time friend. This is the one my wife gave to me, but we're selling it. World's best husband. Easy. 
even nice folks get it in the end. Um, I don't know how you want to take this one, but take it as you want. And it is marked on the side, 1972. When you hurt, I hurt too. And he's holding his heart. And he took it in the end. I only drink on special occasions, like weekdays or weekends. This is a Pam one. 1970. Happy birthday to the one I love. Be nice to me or you won't get no goodies. Um, if that said buy me something or you won't get no loving, I would have said saving that one for my wife, but that ain't happening. <laughs> I love you this much is a little blue devil boy. And this girl is sorry to see you go in pink, which the colored ones are obviously a little bit better. World's best roommate, and they're schnuddling. And last but not least in this lot is I love you for 100 sentimental reasons, but a few horny ones too. Ah. That one's awesome. <laughs> I didn't even see that one before. It's hilarious. So you put these two together, a few horny ones too. Even nice folks get it in the end. So there's what? Is that 12, 13, 14 figures? And they do have some weight to them, so when they ship to you, they are a little heavier when you get the box. Picking and painting says so they're going to get in trouble for listening to us while at work and laughing out loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're supposed to be fun employed. So we have Greg in at 65. When well, you guys are bidding, I'm going to grab some other lots. Oh, that's a heavy one. That's a heavy lot. Dun, 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 dun. Once in a galaxy far, far away. Bet in at 70. So it's just between Greg and Vet. So as soon as one of them says out, the other one wins instantly. No countdown, no lag. No sniping. So if you want to be in, make sure that we know you're in. And again, for everybody who is watching, if you send us a registration and you need to get your wrench, please make a comment saying registration sent. I have a whole bunch of registrations from yesterday, and I want to make sure that I allow you guys to be able to bid. Greg Lusk is in at 75, and we are sold that picks is out. Pam went back into the stash area and found boxes of Star Wars, a land speeder. Let's see. Let's open it up. Let's see. Land speeder. Land speeder. It's in really nice shape. So $15 start, guys. Shipped $15. So you get the land speeder. To get whatever's in this box in this bag here. So here's a whole bunch of little like miniature micro machine type figures. This bag. I'm guessing this is a playset. Yep, Stormtrooper Death Star instructions playset. So those are the figures that go with this set. And here is the original stickers unapplied. And the set itself is right here so you get 
1995. 1995 on the Death Star playset from Star Wars. Five it's cool that this is still unapplied and here's all the little miniature pieces that go inside of it and then ooh, let's see what this is and then micro machines star wars action fleet concept model final design see, here's the box you're on land speeder oh you're on the land speeder 1995. 1995 on the land speeder. So this is a little ship that goes on the bottom part of the base down here, and the large ship goes up here. And the little ship goes down there. So it's an A wing and another one. In the box, they're in nice shape. That's what you get in this lot. Some Star Wars stuff. We have some action. Yep. We need more action. We need more action. Let's see what this one is. Here is another Micro Machines playset. This is the R2-D2 one. It's going to go in the slot. But here are the little figures that go in the playset. The Rancor Monster, the Gamerian Guard, Luke Skywalker. Here are the unapplied uh, sticker decals. And here is the instruction sheet. Keep going, guys, and I'll keep going. These auctions are a partnership. The more you guys bid, the more stuff I'm going to put on the table until you run out of money or I run out of stuff. Here is a Star Wars. Oh, this one's awesome. This one. Star Wars Boba Fett Cloud City playset right here. Here. So like that. Cloud City playset. Okay. Here's the little piece that goes in there. And here are the little accessories and the little people that go inside of that playset. So you got Boba Fett, which is very hot right now because of the Mandalorian. So you get him. Here's his instruction sheet. And here are all the accessories that go with him in his box. I think I have one more Star Wars piece that they found. Ooh, this is a giant set. Is this one even opened? Hmm. I think it was opened. I think somebody just retaped it closed. Oh, that's awesome. So this is a giant set. Like This set's probably really good. So this is the Star Wars Micro Machines Action Fleet Ice Planet Hoth play set. And look, you can see the difference in the size of the box. And here is the planet. Open up. Let me figure out how to open it. Hang on. Should only take me a couple hours. 
I'm sure it has something to do with that little orange button. There we go. So here is the ice planet right there. Here are the unused, because it's brand new, it's just sticker sheet and instruction sheet. Here is the snow speeder. All the people are in here. The Tauntaun, the cannons, the cannon barrel for the gun, the Wampa, the medical droid. There's a pilot inside of the ship. So this is a giant set. This is probably really good. I'm going to put the instructions and that stuff inside with all the little figures, the unused sticker sheet. You're getting it all. And close, close. There we go. I got it on the Sorry. There we go. So that's very cool. So you get Boba Fett. Cloud City, Micro Machines, Ice Planet Hoth, Micro Machines, Stormtrooper Death Star, Micro Machines, R2-D2, Can Can, Micro Machines, Complete Sets. Dinko Internet D5, uh, Dinko Internet 100. There we go. Uh, here, adding more. Nope, that's all we have in the Star Wars stuff. That's everything. This is everything for this lot. Plus, it's already going to take a large box to ship. And you have the snow, sp the the land speeder here for the figures, and the Star Wars concept model battle fleet series alpha. I think it's neat that the the decals haven't been applied yet. None of the stickers. And all the little people are still there. I would have lost those to eat in those or put them up my nose at some point in time. They were mine when I was a kid. <laughs> nobody, nobody better to ward off boogies than Luth, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Thank you. Carl is out. Well, here, thank you, everybody who is here for being here and hanging out with us. Hope you guys are having a great day. We do. Amber said, spit out your drink. Definitely don't drink on that one. Ew. <laughs> we have 145 with Danko. Oh, wait. We have 140 with Danko. Oh, no. Yeah. 145 with Danko. You're yeah. right. 145 with Danko. We're looking for 155 or better. <laughs> Sour apple. <laughs> <laughs> no, these weren't mine when I was a kid. I lost all those. I had the vintage stuff. I think we're sold to Danko. Okay, I believe we're going to be sold to Danko. I think a second is out. And I know there's a couple people who have been emailing me saying that they're not able to comment. I'm not sure why you cannot comment because I checked our block list. There's only two people on that list. If you're one of those two pe people, then that's it. You can't comment, but people who emailed me are not on that list, so I'm not sure why. Uh, 
Okay. Well, let's see. How about house trucks? Does anybody have like grandkids and stuff like that? And we have some Hess trucks. So we have a Hess recreation van. This is 1998. Hi, Janine. And as you can see, it's got all the inserts, all the pieces and parts are there. 1998. Let's go with a $15 start on the recreation band. And, but wait, there's more. You get the 1994 Hess rescue truck in the box. This one has the symbol of quality. 1994 Hess truck. Here's all of the inserts that were played with. You get both. $15 start. And that's shipped. Please email me on this. Didn't figure it out until I replayed the auction. I'm not sure what we're supposed to email her on. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm assuming she didn't win it. She won a comic lot, but I think she's saying that she was bidding on the lot prior to that. Wow. But obviously she did not win that lot because sold was claimed before the, the bid came in. So then we'll just resell the comics. Okay. Want me to make a note so you can email her? Or do you want to yeah, you, you can. Got, you got it handled there. Yep. Okay. So we have Don in at 25. Hi, Tammy's Passions. Is Tammy's Passions Tamara? Mama G? I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> okay. For Tammy's, Tamara's. And anybody else who's in the room just lurking and you did send me a registration please make sure that you comment registration sent. That is the only way we can give you a wrench so that you are able to bid when you would like to. No, one is 1994 and the other one is 1998. 1994 and 1998. It's over on the other side, I think. But you can bring it up. We can just put it up as the next slide. So Kim, we'll take care of that. We'll uh, we will auction that lot off again next because I do not know who the no the girl's name is Kim. Who? Oh. Not my wife, Kim. The other person. So, yeah, I don't know who the underbidder was, and the high bid was at $180 on them yesterday. So, okay, Betty, let me take a quick look for you. Okay, we got you, Betty. You are able to bid. You have been wrenched. Oh, awesome.
Tammy, if you could just do me a big favor and send me the information that's scrolling at the bottom of your screen, we'll have you registered for here. We invoice you, so you don't ever have to send us payment instantly or any of that other stuff. It just makes it easier for us. We send one invoice per week because we do three auctions. It's just our way of being able to keep track of stuff. Then it's also easy for us to ship over the weekend and ship on Monday once everybody pays before we start our next week's auctions. Okay, we're at 35 with done. They found a box in the back that had a couple Hess trucks in it, so. Oh, of the new, the new stuff that sold today. Okay. That's fine. Okay, just tell me when we're sold. Go on once. Go on, boy. Carol Ann, I saw an email from you in there. So I, I'm yep. sure we got it. Carol Ann, I got yours. I'll, I'll actually send you an invoice as soon as the auction is over today. And T sent me everybody's that I didn't have. So we're sold, sold, sold to Don for 35. And they probably will come right in this box because it seems to be very nice and strong, sturdy box. Okay, so this is the box of comics that sold yesterday. I do not know who was bidding on it besides Kim. I think it was Jeffrey Stevens or Andrew Campbell. If you guys are here, you'll know. But yesterday it was at 180. Kim was, I guess, lagging behind and was bidding on postcards. Uh, on the comics, so we will go through the comics. I will show them to you guys. We will just start it over. That way it's fair to everybody. You'll probably get a much better deal. But we have Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. This is a nice run. These are in near mint condition. They've probably been unread. 19 or number 188. So it starts at 189 and goes backwards. 187. 186. 185. 184, 183, 182, 181, 180, 179, 178. These are all first printings as well. 177, 176, 175, 174, 173. 172, 171, 170, and 169, and 168, 167. So it is a complete run from 167 to 189 of Batman Legend of the Dark Knight. To get into a little bit better books, I'll do the miscellaneous first and then i'll do the the older stuff last so i think there's 50 i think i will i will do a count at the end but i think there's 50 books catwoman annual catwoman 1996 annual number three that's number four this is your one catwoman number two this is cat one woman annual number one so it does all four of those. This is the full set of six of the Howard Chaikin Challengers of the Unknown. Here's number six. Here's number five. Here is, let me see. Now, do I not have number four? I apparently do not have number four of that run. I have two of number three. Here's two of number two. And one of number one, we have number 18 of Challengers of the Unknown, 17, 16, 15, 14, and then we'll get into the better stuff now. Okay, you get the Guardians of the Galaxy, number four, with Fire Lord. We have the Scarlet Witch. 
which is, I believe, a glow-in-the-dark cover. We have a Mega Min number one, and it is in great shape, other than that one little ding in that corner right there. Daniel Jack. So a Mega Min number one. You have the New Mutants number 100. You have Power Pack number 21, which was a cameo appearance of Spider-Man. You have Arek, Son of Thunder, which I think is interesting just for the simple fact that it's telling you to go see the movie of Superman 2, which was not a great movie. And last but not least is the New Teen Titans, which I find this cover very funny. Uh, it is by Keebler, so it is a premium. Presents DC Comics, the New Teen Titans. Features Speedy walking away with a kid at a school. In cooperation with the President's Drug Awareness Campaign. It's interesting because Speedy in some of the other books had a drug addiction. So that is probably why they put him on the cover, because he obviously beat it, because he's a superhero. You're all set, family. And so there is that book, and it is in near mint to minty condition. So that's what you get. I, like I said, I will give you guys a count. I believe it is 50 books, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 books on this side. Forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six. So forty six books total. Okay. Here, do you just want to write it on here? Yep. Okay. Thank you. And you don't even have to put it on your list. Oh, okay. You are. Okay, never mind. That's fine. No, no, no. I'll, I'll just mark it off the other paper. Okay, congratulations. Okay, so let's do another Hess truck lot, just so I can finish off the Hess trucks, because they are on my table. Okay, I see another one. So we're just going to do all four together. You're going to get four this time in this lot. All four for one money, shipped to your door. Oh, I see more too. $20 start. Okay, so twenty dollars start because it's going to definitely cost much more than that. And this is nineteen ninety seven has race cars inside. Nineteen ninety seven, I believe all of these are unplayed with unused. Yep, see so you can see, still got the inserts. Everything is still inside unused, unplayed with, with the race cars that come out of the back of it. Pretty awesome. 1997. This one is 1990 Hess truck. So a little bit older. I will open it just to confirm that it is also unplayed with. Yep. Box inserts. Everything is still inside. Never removed from the box. I believe that this guy was a collector that I got these from. Then we have the patrol car, a little dusty, 1993, has patrol car. Again, we will open it together and check it. Yep. Box inserts, toy has never been taken out or played with. And last but not least in the slot is a second of the earlier one, 1990. So there's two of the 1990 one of the 1997 and one of the 1993 patrol car. So that's what you get in this lot, which is very cool because at least the older ones, we have two of them. 
And that's what you're bidding on. $20 start. You get all four vehicles. We have Jim Episali in at 50. We have Janine Ketchum in at 55. <laughs> MJP is out. We're looking for 60 or better for the four vehicles. Oh, Don, did you? Make sure that if you guys are new with us, do not send us payments because I get about 400 payments a day. So it winds up being very confusing for us to find the payments themselves. We will send invoices at the end of the auction. And we send them once a week because we have three auctions, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay, Don L, I got your payment. So just mark on the paper that he's paid. Yep, Don L, I've got, got it. So with Tar Hill Picker in at 60. But for everybody else who's new with us, we will send you an invoice. You do not need to pay right away. And those invoices come out on Thursday night or early Friday morning from our Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday auction. <laughs> okay, we have Tar Hill in at 60. We're looking for 65 or better. I didn't know you collected Hess trucks, Janine. Or is it just one of those, one that's a specific year? In it's okay, Don. We got it, though. Yeah, no worries. For future, no worries. Yeah, I saw it. We marked it down. <laughs> Lucinda. Jim is out. Okay, I believe we're going to be sold. For 60 to Tar Hill Picker. Okay, let's put that there. Let's do a postcard lot, guys. Let's bid on a postcard lot. Hmm? Are you on live chat? Okay. I didn't know if she just collected a certain year, or if she was buying them for somebody, or whatnot. Never know. Regular. I like the regulars better. So these are obviously foreign language in Saudi Arabia. So four, five, six, and then we're getting into some older stuff here. This one's definitely earlier. Seven, eight. That one's older, 1939. Nine. Actually, I think there's another one underneath there. Yep, 10. 11, 12. That's another old one, 1925. 13, 14, 15, 16, Puerto Rico, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 
44, 45, 46, 47. This is one of those packets that opens up and has like eight or 10 in it. 48. This is another old one. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Those are like 50s or 60s. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 63, 64, 65, 66. Oh, these are older. 67, 68. Can't read the date on that one. 69. This one's awesome. That one's really early. 70, 71, 72, 73. That's old. 74 or old. 75, 76, 77. Look at this one. This one's hilarious. 77. Alligator bait in Panama Canal. 77. That one's 1978, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. Photo, photo, photo. So 85 there. Do you know it's not going to. Just undoing another pack. Look, we're going to add this many more. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 1969. 94, 95, 1947, 96, 97, 98, 99, 14, 14, oh, this one's awesome, 14, the Geisha girl, 15, 16, 17, 18, that one's 1930s or 20s, 19, 10, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, this one's early, 33, 1955, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, Kyle's, it's the Battle of the Kyle's, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, this is all Japan, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. <laughs> this is from Mulan, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. That one's early. 77, 78. 79. This almost looks like that postcard from yesterday, guys. 80. Real photo postcard in Japan early. 80. This is really early. From Yokohama, Japan. 81, 82, 83, 85, 86, 87. So we have 187 cards. 130, that almost makes me want to put more in the pile. <laughs> they got pushed out of the ring. 187 so far. Another real photo postcard. 188, 189, there's 190, there's two there. 91. 192, 193, 194, 195, 197, 
198, 199, 200. So that's 200 there. 201, 202, 203. Awesome real photo postcard. 204, 205. These are early. 206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215, 216, 217, 218. 219, 220, 221, 222, 223, 224, 225, 226, that one's really early, showing U.S. destroyers, 227, 228, 229, Panama, 230, and these are early, 231, this one's 1909, 232, Puerto Rican hats. 233, 234, wait, I probably already messed up the numbers. I think 235, 236, 237, 238, 239, here's a hotel, real photo postcard. 240, 241, 242. What do you guys fill in? 243. 244, 245, 246, 248, 249, 250. Keep going. Should I keep going? I'm going to keep going. 250. Here's a Granada one with photos inside. 251, 252, 253, 254, 255, 256. These are all real photo ones. 257, 258, 259. 260, 261, 262, 263. This is a ship, Holland America, 1957. 264, 265, 266, 267, 268, 269, 270, 271, 272, 273, 1907, 274, 275, 270. 76, 277, that's awesome. Banquet Hall in Edinburgh Castle. 277, 278, 279, 280, 281, 282, 283, and the last one, 284. That's the last one in that stack. So 284. The Scotland one's awesome, though. Oh, yeah. I love postcards. Especially real photo stuff and the early stuff. It's awesome. So 284 postcards in this lot. Making space. Adam is out. Okay. Tar Hill is out. Get a drink of water quick. Carl said, I want to get in on some postcard action. Mm -hmm. well, even though I paid a lot of money for these, I'm still going to get them out of here before I get lost. Yeah, three twenty five. I need it. Huh? I need it. What do you need it for? 
come over here to the postcard vault. Congratulations, Nancy. Getting more. But we'll do something else. We're going to skip around. Okay. Trey, I'm going to finish emptying this comic book box with whatever's in this comic book box. Not like yesterday. <laughs> comic book box. Uh, comic books. Nope. We're going to sell um, sheets. Yep. There will be poker chips in tomorrow's auction. Early casino illegal gambling casino chips. I make space. Want that as book? Is that what you're saying? Oh. I am crazy. One, two, Gotham Knights, The Return of Hush. Awesome. Three, four, five. These are all Gotham Knights. Six, $10 start. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, <laughs> 12, 13, <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so 20 on that side so far, got them nights, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. These are our first printings, 31, 32. It is a nice run, 33, 34. 35, 36, 37. <laughs> that's 37 in that left in that box. So that's what you get. 37. And these are all unread condition. Hi, Lenny. Uh, not today. Do I have some? Sure. Where are they at? Who knows? If anybody needs to see a certain issue, just let me know. I can find them because they're generally pretty much in order in that box, it seems like. Ooh, this is a cool postcard. 
Andy Ward. Carl. Sorry, fixing my stand. There we go. Ooh, you know what I've got for them? Clarify one through thirty-seven. Nope. Because this is issue number forty-seven on top, so forty-seven, forty-six, forty-five, forty-four. 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27. Here is 48. So this goes down here on the bottom. So we have 27 through 48 straight through. 7 through 48. One okay. Gone. So 27 through 48 is right there. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. 63. So we have number 27 through 63, all the issues from 27 to 63. So a nice run. You're welcome. 27 through 63. We did sell some Batmans yesterday out of the same box, so it might have had 1 through 23 in there, or 1 through 27. At 120 with Todd. Thank you, Liz. Out. I'll stab you with my pen today. <laughs> 130 with Carl. That's with me, Brian. <laughs> Forty with Todd. Carl is out. Okay. Sold, sold, sold to Todd. Sold, sold, sold to Todd. Congratulations, Todd. $20 start because it's definitely going to cost that to ship these because they're pretty heavy. Get well soon in blue, 1972. Happy birthday, 1972. Don't fuss, treat me like any other great person. 1978 Russ Berry You Drive Me Wild in the Cool Little Car Can't read the year on that one This one's Apollo statue because they're made out of like uh, lava rock 1963 I've Got the Hots for You and it's a Dragon
drinking helps me over the hump. Ah, that's perfect for our days here. Drinking helps me over the hump. <laughs> 1975. I like you a whole bunch. And it's an Elephantonus. Elephantonus, 1974. I'm falling in like with you. Nineteen seventy World's Greatest Grandma nineteen seventy six Cross My Heart I Love You nineteen seventy six I may not be good looking but I'm faithful but he's a bad monkey World's Greatest Grandma and it's a cat. She's a cat lady. To hell with housework. Am I right or am I right, ladies? And men. To hell with housework. If at first you don't succeed, cheat. 1974. World's greatest student. 1976. Good for love. 1970. This can't be love. It's too much fun. 1977. There is another one of that one. There's two of those. And last but not least, I can be very friendly. This one's interesting. How many five with Mickey? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, I like the animal ones. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. These are little little guys, but awesome. Nineteen, you get nineteen in the slot. Big lot. Right, easy with Pam. We have 85 with Carl. He needs the camel one. <laughs> Who did, Carl? Oh. <laughs> he noticed I did that. We have 90 with Pam. <laughs> I spanked the monkey on camera. Mm -hmm. God, I wish I could say that's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Picky Nicky's in at 100. Carl is out. We have 110 with Pam. <laughs> so we have 110 with Pam we're looking for 120 on this lot of 19 so right now it's about 6 bucks each $6 a piece What's up, Anthony? A fun one. I'll answer that question for you, sir. A fun auction. Anthony, you're just in time because I'm going to sell something sports related next that I have a lot of money invested into, but I don't care. It's been sitting here on the table. I was going to have one of the workers do it and list it, but nah. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, I believe we're going to be sold. Picky Nikki is out. Well, let's call it down. So we have one ten with Picky or one ten with Pam. Yep, sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations. You know what I do have in those guys? I have original store displays, like the really large ones that are almost two feet tall each. 
I think I should bring those to you guys. Okay, this is that lot of 1930s baseball that I paid. I think I paid seven bucks a piece for these, which was actually a pretty good deal. But they're just sitting here, and I'd rather sell them and get some of the money back. Um, I do have something Pokemon related, but no Pokemon cards. So Paul Warner. So if you guys do a little bit of research, these are from Diamond Match Company. These are 1935, 1936. Each player has three different colors to make complete sets of that player. So these are baseball. $10 start on what I'm going to put on this tray, and I'm going to put everything that I bought on this tray. I don't think they're animals, Nancy. I think they're only little kids, the large ones. I'm not sure. I think we only have little kid ones. Yeah. I think. I don't really remember. So there's two sets of Paul Warner. And it tells you like what team he played for and everything like that. We have two complete sets of Bob Garbeck, Garbark from the Chicago Cubs. I think they only made Cubs, actually. Or no, those are Pittsburgh Pirates. So these are Chicago Cubs. And it is two complete sets, all three different colors of Bob Garbeck. So there's 12. We have two complete sets of William Jurgis from the Chicago Cubs. So that's 18. I think we do have some sports cards. 18. Yep. 18. Charles Grimm of the Chicago Cubs. There are two complete sets. So that makes 24. They are, these are matchbooks. These, they used to have matches inside. But if you do research, these are really hard to find. These are by Diamond Match Company. And this is the baseball series from 1935-1936. We have two full sets of August Gallon. So now I lost my count. Okay. So all of those so far have two full sets. We have Tex Carlton of the Chicago Cubs. Again, two complete sets, all three color variations, and they are all in great condition. Got a picture of the player, his name, his information. And matchbooks. Yep, these are matchbooks. 1935, 1936 baseball matchbooks. I originally was going to put these online because I bought them from a guy that I buy some early cards from, and I think I paid him seven bucks a piece. But Kurt Davis, right here, two complete sets. So there's two complete sets of every player in here. So here's six. Twelve. Eighteen. Twenty four, thirty, thirty six, forty two of these. Does that make sense? Forty two times seven, two eighty, about three hundred. Yeah, that's exactly what I paid three hundred. So. So this is what you're getting in the lot. There are 42 of these matchbooks. Two complete sets of all three color variations. There you go. 
So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the players. Seven different players. There's six of each one. And there's three different color variations of each one. And they are all in really great case, great condition. And look, I'll even give you the dinosaur bag. I had them in. Rawr. So we have 170 with Danko on 42 pieces. Less than five bucks each right now. Shipped to you. Bluegrass picker is out. Gonna just count this one down, Janine. So we're at 170 with Danko. And this will be a cool lot for whoever gets them because they are pretty hard to find. And the sports card market is hot right now. So it's going to filter over into all the other sports card stuff. And these are pretty rare. And to have, you know, literally two complete sets of every color is awesome. So 42 matchbooks from 1935, 1936, diamond matches, baseball players. Okay, going once. Pat, they're uh, 1935, 1936 matchbooks, baseball matchbooks. 42 of them, two sets of all three different colors, seven different players. I, but I believe we're going to be sold, 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 sold yep. for 170 Congratulations, Danko. Look, even I lose money sometimes. I got to get better at what I do. <laughs> okay, Pam brought these up here, so I'm guessing that means Pam wants me to sell these to you guys. Since we all like to drink here and have a good time, you get tokens. You got a draft coming, Alberta's Fire Company. So when you go to some of the local bars and stuff like that, the fire companies give you tokens for beers. Good for one large bottle of beer. At the Albertus Rod and Gum Club. Good for one mixed drink at the Albertus Fire Company. So you would just buy tokens and then pay in tokens. But look. Crazy. I'm making it rain. Make it rain. Hercules. Hercules. But wait. Made a lot of noise from. Oh, these are trade tokens, is what they're called. Good for 20 cents in trade at the Kutztown Rod and Gun Club. I actually used to go to this place. Yep. Drinks, mixed drinks, beer. Merchtown Rod and Gun Club draft beer token. Draft beer. Here's some aluminum ones from one snuzzler to another. Add Snuzzle Up. Those are probably from Snuzzy's Bar and Grill. Slammer's Bar and Grill. Bonus Chip. One Mixed Drink at Goodwill Fire Company in Trexler Town. The Alibi $1 Token. Madison Inn Hotel for a draft beer. 
Fredericksville Hotel, beer or drink. Judy and Rick's Weisport House, good for one bottle of beer. You can tell that they're old whenever you start looking at it. the fact that here's a here's one for a whiskey. Here's one at the Order of the Eagle, Fraternal Order of the Eagle, 25 cents. So you could get a beer for 25 cents. Crazy. And I don't know what you think, guys. 500 of them, somewhat, something like that. Yeah, they're all plastic. Uh, all of them except for a few are aluminum. But yeah, the majority of them are plastic or Bakelite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Look, this one was only for 10 cents. 42 at the alibi. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. I'll put 100 on one side just so you see. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. This was only for 5 cents. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So there's 100 on this side. So there's 100 there. Right here. So there's, I don't know. I don't remember ever getting these, though. Do you? You're older than I am, so like... Yeah, like BFW clubs and stuff. Some of them still use them. Oh, do they? Yep. Ooh. They yeah, should keep these. These are all relatively local. Should keep these and go drinking. Yep, so there's 105. Why oh, you guys are bidding them counting? 110. 115. 120. 125, 130, 135, 30 clubs, stuff like that. Some of them 6, 7, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So there's 150 on this side now. So now there's 200 on this side. So yeah, there's probably around 500, that's my guess. And what I think, you know, whenever I look at this stuff to sell on a retail market, I look at this from a couple different standpoints. Anybody who collects stuff from Kutztown, you know, anybody who collects bar and alcohol related, uh, the ones that are from fire companies, anybody who collects that town or fire related stuff. So. I don't know if I'm going to count them all. 
1950. Is this place still there? We. Oui. Three hundred with Adam. <laughs> Three, four, and five with Matthew. There's 300 on that side now. Uh, I probably was pretty close with my yes of 500. Yeah. It's actually going to be over 500. Yeah, here's 400 on this side now. And there's still all of those left over there. So, yeah, it's probably 700 pieces. We're at 360 with Carl. So, there's 400 on the left side. Check this one out. This one is a brass. I don't know what it means, but it says B and 177. Thank you. Yeah. I agree. Yep. See ya. Okay, so there's 500 on the left side. So, yeah, there's probably 700, 700 pieces. Pretty awesome. Could you imagine what 700 drinks at the bar would cost? Tell me about it. We could have a seller resale rally here and just go out drinking. I don't know if they would honor a 10 cent one though, because that's got to be really old. Nice by Adam. Yeah, it's probably 650 to 700. This is 500 on this side. Now all that work I just did. When you guys hear Pam go, mm -hmm. it's it's her saying like, I told you so. <laughs> just so you guys know, that's that's the Pam I told you so. Pam's going to show you this stuff here on the tray. I am? Yep. Your jewelry. What's the starting bid? Uh, 
twenty dollars starting bid on all the jewelry on the tray. This is Pam's. And as soon as I'm done putting more trays on the table to sell you guys, and I'll come back over and I'll help do descriptions. Done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's Ed Hardy with the Geisha Girls. The watch. Uh huh. Ed did the same thing you did. I lost this. <laughs> yeah. This is some kind of a plastic. So then you have a bunch of the metal bangles. No, it is not my personal jewelry. No, not her personal I jewelry. A reseller. She buys storage units sometimes, yep. and she takes boxes home from here sometimes. If I buy too much stuff, she confiscates items, and then she brings it back and sells it. it says, oh, it's mine. Lots of times it's from my storage unit. <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 18 metal bracelets, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's 24 bracelets. This one is cold to the touch, so it's some kind of stone. You have the awesome big like butterfly-looking earrings. There's another watch that says Pulsar on it. That's what it says on this lady's watch. Pink beads. We're not going to go there. These are metal. These are jet black glass, or not metal, jet black glass beads. It's an awesome, what is the C inside of a C? Anybody know? Is that? I think they are Chanel. CC. Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> With little hearts in the back, that's kind of neat. Good thing I didn't say Gucci because somebody would have been offended. <laughs> These are really pretty. Clip earring earrings. I don't see any markings. So a lot of costume jewelry. Obviously the, the CC thing. Uh, here's another watch. Let's see if I can read it better on screen. Focus camera. Uh, it'd help if I had it right side up, huh? Probably. Sorry, guys. Probably. Not sure what it says. Dest something. It's another funky metal. I want to say it's a bracelet because it's really short if it's not a bracelet. That is a great See, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Burstone Austrian crystal for January. Matthew Bailey in a corner. These are actually kind of neat. These look silver. Yeah, I would assume these are silver. I would actually pretty much bet on the fact that these are silver. But where's the little piece the backing a backer oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. no, that's right there oh, okay. here is another nice gold colored long one there but here's the back of the ones that I think are silver the little cowboy hats This is not the correct card for them. 
There's another watch. This one is Armatron. I'm <laughs> screwed, but I really don't need any more stuff. And some kind of other bracelet. Some more interesting earrings. These are earrings. Big old earrings. Leaves with butterflies on them. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is probably a necklace of some sort. A whole bunch of earrings here. It looks like all the earrings have matching sets. Here is a brooch with a little cupid on it. There's a necklace. These are glass or stone of some sort. Go clip your rings. Another bracelet. Pretty awesome. A B. I don't know why it's got a cancer awareness thing with it, but. Very pretty. <laughs> I don't know, I'm running out of room at my house. This is a little jambled up mess here. I can't see the bottom of the box. It's probably beautiful. There you go. Some more earrings. Are you still digging for the Jimmy? So there might be some silver necklaces. There's a little charm of a little kid with a green stone and a diamond in the head. Little diamond head. Some shamrock earrings. If you're Irish. Here's some... Um, I'm Zsa Zsa Gobo. Hello. That's a dangly earring right there. <laughs> that'd, get, that'd get caught in my beard. So lots of earring sets. Some stones. Looks like there's some possible silver necklaces. Like that could be silver. Here's a ring of some sort. It's so shiny. Ooh, Sparkly. <laughs> Sparkly. <Okay>. My precious. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, look, this is actually... So somebody else put SS on here. So these are probably sterling silver. Uh-huh. I found a shiny ring. It was shiny. It's so shiny. Sparkles. Sparkly. Hello. How are you? Is that right? A bunch of watches. Black glass. These are jet black glass. <laughs> what does he feel sorry for you? Everybody does. Coco Chanel. They're jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. They're jingling, baby. <laughs> Come on, you remember that song? I know you do. Not even a 40. <laughs> you okay there, Brian? <laughs> Brian just turned into a whole different person a minute ago. Uh -huh. 
Yep, Dusty, just follow the yellow banner at the bottom of the screen. And as soon as you send it, just comment that registration is sent, and I will give you a wrench, and then you are able to bid. <laughs> Janine. Janine, that's how I feel most of the time. Except I turn that frown upside down. Yes, he did, Janine. <laughs> what, the my precious thing? Yeah. <laughs> Woo. You guys want to do some toys? <laughs> yes, do toys. You guys want to do toys, old photos, postcards? You tell me. Toys, photos, old postcards. All right, if you don't stop hitting me with those rubber bands, I'm going to shove them up your nose. <laughs> you guys have ever seen Tom Hanks and Big? That's me. First chat worth is here. He said toys, um, postcards, trading cards, baseball cards, toys, and drop and stop. Toys. 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 Who said drop and stop? Janine again. Janine and, hold on, uh, backpack Okay. Comics. Comics wasn't one of the options. Toys. Toys. Toys, toys are definitely good because I have a bunch of those from the comic locker that yeah. I trade up and made ready for you guys. And I would love to get them out of here this week so that I can get back to other stuff. Sold, 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 Matthew Bailey. There you go. Thank that's, you, Matthew. That's Pam money. That's her pay for the week, guys. Just I remember. <laughs> I tried. Do you guys want a big lot of these? Let's do a big lot of these. I don't want to do little lots. Let's do a big lot of these. Big lot of these. You know why we're doing a big lot of these guys? Because I love you. Yeah. <laughs> no one can fill my father's shoes. So these are the statues. Thanks, Matthew. You can't possibly realize how much I miss you. I don't understand this condensation because it's a dog and there's an axe next to it. So oh, and he offed somebody. This is the biggest one that we've had so far. Our love's been good to us, and it's giant. I mean, look at the comparison. Yeah, the displays are bigger. 1971. And then the rest of this tray is Paula ones. These are the ones made out of like the lava rock stuff instead of the plasticky stuff. 1970 Paula. Love is wonderful when the someone I love is you. To the mom of the year for the next hundred years. Aw. World's greatest graduate. In times of great stress and tension, it's good to remember there's someone just around the corner waiting to help you. Your bartender. Should I give that one to Pam? Before you meet her, you got to kiss some toads. You got to kiss a lot of horny toads. Eh. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> I find it so boring being a legend in my own lifetime. Everything beautiful in life makes me glad that there's you. I'm not going to keep reading these. You guys can read them. My people are smarts. Um, virginity isn't virginity until you give... Oh, wait, no, it says love isn't love until you give it away. Love isn't love unless it's shared. I love you this much. Huh. Pretty funny. So, how many do we have? Somebody count these things up. The big one back there. That one and this one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Eighteen 16, 18. 18 on that tray. And look. I'm giving you a second tray lot because they're on my table. So that's 19. 
number 20. And that's funny. There's number 20. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29. 30. Be my Valentine. 31. Huh. Love from the bottom of my heart. 32. And then this one was an ashtray. 33. 33. 33. <laughs> this one's the U one, though. and check on every now and then pull the trays off. Okay, so we have 33 in this lot, guys. Okay, Dusty, let me take a look. We got you, Dusty. And anybody else who is lurking and sent a registration, just make a comment. So that we can give you a wrench, we have to see a comment from you. And Dusty Old Dude, you are able to bid. <laughs> so you get all of this. Okay, so we're at 130. With Carl. There's 33 of them this time, guys. Pam is leaving early. Just so <laughs> my employees just decide, like, hey, just letting you know, I'm leaving early today. She told me today. That's right. And she's today. leaving early today. We have Chris in at 140. Okay, Bob, hang on, let me give you your wrench. I have your registration. There you go, Mr. Prometheus. So we have 150 with Pam Hewitt first. Carl came in just a second after her. So 150 for 33 of these great little vintage statues. This one's cool because it's a match right. See ya. Now I'll be a tiny bit slower because Pam's not here to do the writing part of this. Shazad, what's up Shazad? If you guys don't know, Shazad has a YouTube channel. He's from across the pond. Pretty awesome guy. Scotty, what might what what might I be wearing? Oh, the shot collar. Huh. Never know. One fifty to Pam Hewitt. Congratulations, Pam. Okay. Okay. 
Congratulations. Okay. So now people ask for toys, so I've got to go grab some toys. Unless I can get one of the other employees to come out here and start feeding me merchandise. But I could probably put a bunch of stuff over here. Okay. This will be a good little start. Unless I go crazy and put multiple trays down at once. We'll see how the bidding goes. Okay. Here's the first tray, $20 start. I have no clue other than some of these guys are spawned. Now this one, the wire has came loose to make his arm glow, but his arm is there. I think these are from spawn and some of them are marked by like DC Comics, so some of them are comic book related. So here's that guy. Here's another giant guy with a little tiny head. Here's the clown from Spawn with his drumstick. Here's this big dude with all of the stones, like see-through crystals coming out of them. You've got the hunchback guy with the hook hand and peg leg. This guy's definitely from Spawn. This guy's also from Spawn. So these are from like later series Spawn. This is Angela, I want to say. I think it's Angela. She was a Liefeld character. Um, I don't know if he's from Spawn or what he's from, but there he is. He's got a bunch of different arms, so you can use the little pincher grabber claw thingies. He has some kind of a rip cord for a chainsaw. There's another guy. He reminds me of uh, the big guy from Labyrinth that, that talks to rocks. Odo, I think his name is. This might be from, like, DC. This might be, like, Grog. Unless it's a spawn character of some sort that I don't know. I have no clue who this guy is. No clue. Another character that's probably spawn-related. Just kind of got that size. A female mercenary assassin. Uh, witch doctory looking guy. This I think is spawn because that symbol looks like the spawn symbol. Like a Native American spawn. And another giant guy with hair. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm not going to count him because he's got a broken arm. Sixteen figures. Yep, those two go together. Sixteen. So we have 40 with Jim. Yeah, he reminds me of Ludo. So nice big lot of action figures. Hi, T. Hi, sweetheart. That's T from Auctions for You. If you guys aren't familiar with Auctions for You, they have an awesome, an awesome, awesome, awesome YouTube channel. You guys should definitely go over there, check it out, subscribe, get the bell notification because they do a lot of auctions over there. Um, T buys a lot of storage lockers. She's like, like a little mini me becoming a maxi me at this point. She is a buying machine. So she has some awesome stuff in her recent purchases and collectibles and stuff like that. So you guys should definitely check her channel out. Her and Donna Bottolino sell a bunch of stuff together. And sometimes T and I sell together as well. 
So we have Carl Bach in at 45. We're looking for 50. Or 47, I'm sorry. We're still under the $50 mark. So we're looking for $47. That does come shipped, and these figures are pretty heavy. And a bunch of guys, you know, 16 figures that are pretty large. This guy is awesome. If anybody on this character reminds me of me, it would be this guy. Because he's got a drumstick of chicken. Big old turkey leg. Okay, so we're at $47 with Ken. Looking for any advance on 47 Guys, ask for toys. We're going to bring you some toys. Get some lots of toys up here. Pam didn't write down any of the toys on this list like I told her to do. Ah, that woman. We have 50 with Jim. Nancy, my fat belly doesn't stick out. I buy clothes big enough for mine. I'm probably not as big as, as I make out to be. So we have $50 with Jim, looking for 55 on this lot of Spawn and probably Wet Works or Wild Storm or one of those other comic lines from that time period. Okay. Ready to sell, sell, sell. Hey, Carrie. Oh, awesome, Pat Dees. Thank you very much. So. And for those of you who don't know what Pat Dees is referring to, we are going to decide to do a Saturday auction. Probably once a month, maybe twice a month, but where we go up to the other warehouse and we grab some random stuff from up at the other warehouse and bring it down and sell it. Because we have a bunch of people who can't be here on our regular day auctions, so we're going to try to give them a little weekend reprieve once in a while. Action figures. Just call them figures. Here is, I believe this is the clown again from Spawn, but now he's a big giant spider guy. Kind of ugly, kind of gross. Testies are hanging down at the bottom. Kind of weird. Well, look, they are. See. Mm -hmm. They're danglies. <laughs> Here is another monster type action figure toy. Don't know who it is. Here is a robot type guy. His leg is off, but his leg is there. Here's, here's another of the clown with a bunch of guns. He's ready for, he's still not gonna win because you're not the main character. Yeah. So lots and lots of guns. So thank you very much, Pat Deeds, for your help. Pat made me a thumbnail for our Saturday auction. And this is Angela. I guess this is another like Rob Liefeld character. But this looks like an evil one. Here's some kind of snake guy. They're very articulated, though. I do give them credit. Very well sculpted. Lots of McFarland. Another figure. 
no more Sunday auctions for a while. <laughs> Does that mean I'm not allowed to go shopping on a Sunday? Is that what he's trying to say? <laughs> Another female Angela action figure. Uh, one till four or five. And then this is like a Grim Reaper kind of guy. His 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 stick's bent. Here's an assassin with a giant sword. That would be me because I'm like a selling ninja. Here is, I don't know if this is from like Skeleton Warriors or what this guy's from. But he has a giant sword. Here, here is looking spawn figure. Here's the other wing for this side. I just didn't re, re put it back on. It goes in there. There you go. Now it's back on. And that is future spawn. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and then this guy, but his leg's broken. It goes in there. So you get all of those for your bid, and they're shipped to you. Ken came at 25. Okay, so we have Kim, Ken in at 25, looking for 27 or better. Carl Bach is in at 27. One till four, Mama G. One till four. I'll create the stream yard for it tomorrow. Jim in at 30. And I do, do realize you may know who else is selling. If anybody else is selling at that time. Carl Box in at 32. So if Carl in at 32. We have Tony in at 35. And this giant lot of awesomeness. I like the people who make their custom action figures from these guys. Like they take these guys apart, and they make custom action figures. Jim's at 38. We have 38 with Jim. Looking for 40. 40 would be the next bid. 40 on this great lot. Awesome. Janine's amazing. Janine, you never did answer me earlier. Were you bidding on the Hess trucks because you like Hess trucks? Or was there a specific year of Hess truck that you're interested in? Tony in at 40. Calls out. Okay, so we have Tony in at $40. Looking for 42 or better on this lot of 16 action figures. I can touch your butt. You're my werewolf. wife. <laughs> Ken is out. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. She <laughs> said hi. Hi. Oh, okay. Because we got to put your box together, so I didn't know if I was supposed to add that type of stuff into your box. And Jim is 42. Cindy Jim's at 42. Okay, so we have Cindy in at 45. Janine says, hello, Kim. Hi, Janine. Both my wives were rubbing butts earlier. Not intentionally. Don't get excited. It doesn't have to be intentional to make me excited. Jim is out. Jim is out and Tony is out. Okay, so we have Cindy in at 45. We're looking for 47 or better. Hey, James S. On this nice lot of action figures. Spawn and other comic books, superhero-related, scary, grotesque figures. I 
Are we sold? Not yet. I'm being at 45. Hi, Renee. Because you didn't stop at the store and get the watermelon Mountain Dew, which is good. And I believe after us today, oh, Joe, what time do you guys auction today? I think they are on at four o'clock, Flipping Flamingos and JJ and the Goose, Big Barn Auction Company, have an auction today at four o'clock. Joe, you're welcome to drop your link. All right, sold to Cindy. We will try to make sure we are stopping right around that time. So that they can have their auction and we can send them some awesome people. You guys asked for toys, so I'm bringing you the toys. And then I've got a postcard lot next for you or within the next couple lots. This is the main bad guy, Malabolja, from today. Correct. Yes, today. Okay. Yep. So you guys like, he doesn't have a hand. He's missing a hand. Well, see, it's true. Oh, Here. wait. No, I'm, talking, I'm thinking the other thing. No, no, no. You, you shoot your eye out. No, if you keep doing that, it's going to fall off. Oh, yeah, sometimes. I would think your hand would just get really strong. Purple tunnel. Ready. Man, I thought I had this guy's hand. I don't see his hand. But I did find another giant figure that we're going to put with this guy. I don't know if this is correct. Kind of strange looking, but it's a giant figure. So you get Malabolja, he's missing his hand, the end of his hand. You get Goliath from Gargoyles. I believe this is Bane from Batman. This is, oh, who's the bad guy that killed Superman? Oh, I can't think. Him? Yeah. No, I don't he kills him. I can't remember his name. This is some kind of a pirate, probably from... Um, from Pirates of the Caribbean. We have this awesome orange Goku from Dragon Ball Z. We'll wipe him off there. So we're happy you guys are getting great deals. Get all the see-through hair. Yep. Pam and Kim don't care if you guys get amazing, amazing deals as long as I get stuff out of the warehouse. This chick is maybe from the Matrix. I don't know who she is, but she's pretty awesome. Look at that hair. Don't know who this guy is either, but he needs to trim his fingernails. This is definitely from Arts of the Caribbean. I don't know who this guy is. He's probably an accountant or something along those lines. In one of the Ghostbusters, maybe, or something. Here is a metal lady with a cyborg arm. So, kind of cool. Then we get into some awesome stuff. Oh, never mind. Have his hand. Okay. Mellow Bulge is complete hand now. I believe these are Divas. This is Jacqueline. From Wrestling Divas. Uh, I don't know what she's trying to grab for, but I told her no. No means no. And then I called HR. So it's another wrestler. Uh, this is an anime. I want to say this is Princess Daphne from Dragon Slayer. Because the crown and the hair, 
So like from the very adulty version of dragons think that that is who that is. And then here is a um, a vampire type girl, also like an anime character. And then last but not least in this box is awesome. Is this cool? Oh, it's cool tombstone with a vampire girl inside. And she's got wings, and look, she's got weapons and a IV bag in case she gets hungry while she's taking a nap. So that's pretty cool as well. So you got all of those figures. All these lady figures. There's six female action figures there. You got Goku. Super Saiyan Goku, I should say. Bane. This guy. I still don't know who he is. Seven female action figures. A Pirates of the Caribbean guy, I think. Another Pirates of the Caribbean girl. Doomsday. That's who that is. Doomsday. Goliath from Gargoyles. I have no clue who this big guy is. I don't even know if he's, if he's correct or if they took two figures and made him into one. I don't know. But he's heavy. I can tell you that. And then you have Malabolja, which is the main bad guy from Spawn. Uh, I pulled his hand off again. There. You have to clip it in. So that's what you get in this lot. Huge lot. Okay. And am I right? Does anybody know? Is that Daphne from from Dragon Slayer? She's very scantily dressed, but I'm pretty sure that's Daphne. We have 74 with Tony. I remember when Malabolja used to be like a $200 figure just for him. So we have 74 with Tony. Scotty said, yes, it's her. Awesome. Oh, some of them are marked Capcom, so they're probably from video games. Jim is out. Thank you for your bids, Jim. So we have 74 with Tony. Looking for 79 or better. We are selling toys. They said they wanted toys. We're giving them toys. And movie monsters. That's what these papers say. Okay. Tony outbid himself. Yeah, Tony is in at 74. No, yep, Jim Boyles was in at 69. Tony's in it. So we have Jim Boyles at 61. Then, cut, then Tony came in at 66. And then Jim came in at 69. Oh, okay. So... Jim would have needed to be in at 71. So Jim Boyles, are you in at 71? I see what they're doing. They're rolling it back.
Yeah, because the increments have to be five dollars. It looks like Jim Boyles is out either way, so then we're at sixty-six dollars. No problem, Jim. So we're just looking for seventy-one, or it's going to sell for sixty-six to Tony. Okay, so then Jim is in at seventy-one. Okay, so we have Jim Boyles in at 71, so we're looking for 76. He beat you in, Janine. So we have Tony in at 76. There we go. So then Jim is saying to sell it to Tony then. Okay, so Tony, it's yours at 76. Jim came in at 71, you're at 76. It is... Tony, no problem, Jim. It just it bounces around, and some people have different lag than others. No worries. I think those female figures are really good, too. Um, I want to get this off the table. Can I do another toy lot, guys? Are you guys okay with one more toy lot? Just so I can get it all off the table. Okay, so this is the bin that all that stuff came out of. I don't know what goes to who. And I wasn't about to try to put it in the trays and figure it out and spend two hours making lots. Um, so there are cards, like backer cards. There is paperwork, instructions. So it looks like they are from Spawn, most of them. Spawn, Spawn 2, Manga Spawn, um, Spawn with a box, She Spawn. And more spawns. So these are a whole bunch of cards. Here's a whole bunch of instruction papers and flyers and stuff like that here. These are the little card things that go to the different figures of all of those trays and probably more. Like all the little spawn cards that tell you who's who. I don't know if it shows you what weapons they have or not, but there's that. And then this whole box is all weapons and accessories and little pieces and parts. I know a ton of people know what these go to and sell these individually on line. Like this little eyeball guy is really cool. The eye actually opens. Um, so these are all weapons and wings and missiles. And this is a bag to cover somebody's head, I think. There is also a really cool vintage toy from my youth, from Jason the World Warriors, which is a cartoon on on Saturday mornings. It's the base for the vehicles. There's a whole bunch of swords, a whole bunch of capes. Um, there's part of a guy. There's a lantern for one of the other figures. This is probably for the Jason the Warriors thing. Um, guns, staffs. I mean, hundreds of little figures, snakes, parts. These are spawn uh, digger devil demons. I believe that's what those are called. You know, there's an arm with a shovel. Um, just all kinds of random craziness in here. Uh, there's a giant eagle. Lots of accessories. There might be accessories for other stuff like He-Man or something like that in there as well. But I don't know what goes to what, so it all goes to you. So it is a ton of parts and accessories. It's mostly all guns and weapons and armor and stuff like that. I think this is part of a playset for... Ghostbusters, actually. Okay, because look, down here's a He-Man head. He-Man head. Some wings. Lots and lots of missiles. Like, the whole bottom of it's just filled with little stuff like this. So for those of you who are patient enough to do individual selling of 
small items. Stuff like this is great because people need it to complete their figures, so they pay a premium to get that one accessory that they need to complete a figure. So probably you know, a couple hundred pieces down in here. Because some of them are pretty small, like the little little meat cleaver. Different heads, backpacks, guns. Oh, awesome. Glad you got them, Vet Picks. Yeah, I like selling everything to you guys. It's, it's much more fun than actually doing real work. So we have Matt in at 40 on this entire bin. Hello, Jenny and Funko Casey from Brisbane, Australia. Thank you guys for coming from down under. Yes. <laughs> God. Jesse with Matthew. Oh. Are, you, are you referring to that song? Like a land down under? Yeah. Well, I thought that Australia is the land down under, right? Isn't that not referred to? I don't know. I don't think that's negative. I don't think it's negative. I thought it was just funny because it just reminds me of the song. At this point, anywhere that's not here. <laughs> we have Matthew Bailey in at 50. She's yelling at me, and I thought I'm I was being nice. I'm not yelling at you. I just said it. Just, I thought you said that because of the song. Look, just punch me in the nuts and get it over with. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of different people won the other lots, and there was other lots earlier. But, yeah, there's tons of accessories. I think this is a great reseller lot because they're easy to ship. You know, when you're getting 8 and $10 a piece for a gun or a little snake-eyed guy that the eyeball opens up, which is awesome. I wonder if he goes to Daphne. He might go to Daphne. See, reseller Jenny Funko Casey or Cassie said it's not negative at all. See, I don't tell you it was negative. I just said it reminds me of a song. And he's from the land down in there. So we have Matthew Bailey in at sixty. Here, let me give you five dollars. Please never sing again. What? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I only sang a verse of a song. I don't know five dollars is worth. It. <laughs> we have sixty-five of Fab Yeti finds. And don't worry, guys. She can't call HR on me. She's my wife. So we have Matthew in at seventy. Hi, Wes. Yes. You know what I'm feeling next? Postcards. Postcard lot. Giant postcard lot. 75 with Fab Yeti Fines. Jim Boyle said she is HR. Yeah. Complain with HR gets you punched in the dick. Can't say that on the thing. <laughs> you can't? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can so with all the stuff you say. Mouth on her like a sailor. Like a hot, busty sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Fab Yeti's in at 75 <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here to have fun We're here to make you guys laugh And anybody who is lurking who sent us a registration, please comment registration sent. That way I can uh she she can just call the divorce lawyer. She doesn't call isn't won't call HR. <laughs> the problem with that, Chris, is that she's afraid that I'm gonna make her take half the stuff. <laughs> no, I'll just take half the profits. Oh, well, okay. There won't be any. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and buy more stuff. So this is a great lot. Tons and tons of accessories to sell. Even if you sell it like antique malls and co-ops, 
you know, you put a couple guns in a bag, eight, ten bucks. <laughs> Look, here's a jackhammer. Look, it's named Brian. <laughs> I think she's laughing at me. It's killing my mojo over here, guys. Killing it. It's about the right size, though. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You started it. Okay. Look, if you want to go there, you missed my 88. Where was that? I don't see it at all. Scroll up. Scroll up further. Maybe he's above the 75. Yeah, I'm not seeing your 88, Matthew, but you're welcome to put it in because we are not marked as sold yet. That's weird. There we go. So is Matt in at 88 then? Jackhammer would have been a good one for yesterday. <laughs> Now I'm waiting on them to start making fun of me because you said it's about the same size. Well, apparently they would have heard me by now. now. Now you just repeated it. So what they didn't hear, now they heard. Did it to yourself. Well, look, they don't make an action figure that's a hallway or we could say it's you. <laughs> Throwing a hot dog down a hallway. No, that's your ex-wife you're confusing me with. Oh, yeah. Poor Carrie. Carrie's ears. <laughs> so we have 88 with... Matthew, are you at 88 on this slot? Yeah, you have to type words for some weird reason. I guess it's some kind of gang sign. Oh, letters. Yeah. Yeah, you have to type words or letters with it. So we have 88 with Matthew. Okay, Zelda, you have a wrench. You are able to bid. Fabietti finds is out. So Zelda, you're able to bid. Ah, it's a Nazi sign. Eight. Like eighty eight miles to Germany? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that's a Nazi sign. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. Everything is wrong for somebody. Oh, okay. Lot sold to Matthew Bailey for eighty-eight dollars. Congratulations! Congratulations. Okay, let's do some postcards. Okay, you guys just start bidding. I'm gonna start throwing stuff down, and we're gonna wind up being friends at the end. Canadian Mountie, July nineteen fifty-one. <laughs> Awesome mid-century modern. Nineteen sixty-six. Nineteen thirty-eight. Am I supposed to be counting these guys? We need a counter. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a linen one. Ten. This one, this one's awesome. 11, it's probably 1920s. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You might be getting an extra one there. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This one's one of those packs that has a bunch in it. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, for these old cars, 33, okay. what, 34, the eighth letter in the alphabet is H, oh, okay, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, this one's awesome, I love all the little old cars and the 
trams and the trolleys. In 1923, 40, 41, 42, that was another early old one. 43, 44, lots of old ones here. 45, 46, 47, 48, love all the royal, the Mounties. That's from 1950. 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, this one's awesome too, 57, 1939, 58, 59, 60, don't worry guys, it's going to be a full box, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 77, 78, 79, 80, look at that one, that one's awesome, 81, 1950, 82, 83, 84, 85, this is another one of those packs that opens up, so 85, this will be number 86 right here, but look, it's got a bunch in it. Number 86 just counts as one. Let's put this in there. Andy Warhol postcard book. Marilyn Monroe in the front. 86. It's got all the different Andy Warhol stuff. Six. We're just going to count this as one as well. So this will be number 87. Come on. I tried to find one. Oh. Okay, let's take that one out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is number 87 here. There's Marilyn. So all famous Andy Warhol images. Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. We get mids. One hundred one, one hundred two, one hundred three, one hundred four, one hundred five, one hundred six, one hundred seven, one hundred eight, one hundred nine, one hundred ten, eleven, one hundred twelve, one hundred thirteen, one hundred fourteen. 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Check that one out. It's awesome. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45, sorry, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 69, 70, 71, 73, 74, 75. This one's really cool too. 1907, 76. I think that's war related. 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. 2, 7, this is another one of those packs with a bunch in it. Eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 214 there. 215, 16, 17. That's, that's from a hotel. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I just grabbed another stack. 25, 26, 27. Check that one out. That's cool. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. 40, you're not going to count that one. 44, 45, 46, 47, really early, 1900s. 48, real photo, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, real photos, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. 66. Still at 200? Yeah. Six, okay. 67, 68, 69, 70. That one's cool. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Not going to count that one. Five postcards in the slot. So we got 275 postcards. So that's what you get in that lot. While you guys are bidding, I'm going to make the next lot ready. Two hundred and seventy five postcards in that lot. Congratulations, Nancy. What time is it? Okay, we've got time for one more lot. What do you guys want? Postcards or photos? Postcards or photos? First one to get two. Of that answer is what we will go with. So we got photos, Matthew Bailey. First one to get two is what we will be selling. Photos, Nancy Newell. Okay, you got it. I happened to make some trays of photos earlier today. Eighteen hundreds photographs. There is, I believe, fifty in here. I think this lot has fifty. One. These are cabinet photos, eighteen seventy through about nineteen ten. So two, three, four, five, six. Gonna move them this way. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, cool. That's really neat. Eleven, 
12. 13. This one's really cool. She's really pretty. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Some of them are marked on the back of who they are. 29, 30, 31, 32. This one's cool. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. It's like a prominent businessman. 38. 39, 40, 41. I love his hat. He's holding his hat in his hands. 42. I think this guy is holding a book open or a painting. 43, 44, 45, 46. Connecticut. 47. 48. These are about five by sevens, right? Forty-eight. Yep. Forty-eight. Yep, these are six and a half. This includes the frame. Six and a half by four and a quarter. I think the ones you got today were CDVs if you picked up. So they're 48, 49, 50. Yeah. Yeah, this is 49, 50. Yep, 50 of them. So with the frame, so CDVs, let me see. Do I have any CDVs in these lots here? Um, I don't have any CDVs over here right now, but you guys are you guys are being fun, so let's do this. So there's 50, and here's another 50, so you get 100. How is that for fun? But yes, these are bigger than CDVs. CDVs are like business card size, a little bit bigger than business cards. He looks actually very happy. Looks like an artist. So just added another 50 pieces to the slot, guys. So now you're getting a hundred photos. Um, this one is. I haven't really looked, to be honest. I just kind of counted them. That one says something at the bottom. Bernard Davis. That one is not. Uh, Deland, Florida is where this one's from. That one's awesome. I love the picture of the old camera on the back. That one is not identified. The photographer is identified. This one is identified. This one is identified. This one is not identified that I can see. This one is not identified. That one is identified. So it looks like probably a third of them have identification. That's kind of where I would go with this. That's my guess. This almost looks like a Civil War hat, but I don't think it is. This one's identified, Jay Staley. That one's identified, age 12, 1896, when the photo was taken. A lot of these guys were in the Civil War for sure. Identified, not identified. Oh, that beard. Good. 
I don't know if that says governor of Square Bush. I don't know. A block south. Wait, one block south of corner of Square Bush. Aaron Mullins. That one's identified. This one's identified, including who his grandmother was. That one's awesome with the camera shown. Oh, look at the back of this one. It's beautiful. I love whenever they do like all this artwork on the back. Or have this whole scalloped edge. Look at all the furniture, like all the East Lake style furniture. This girl's coming out from behind the curtain. That's really a pretty one. They staged that one very well. And this guy's beard. These are actually really good. These are really nice. This, this one you can tell is a very, very well done one. East Liverpool. So that's what you get. There's a hundred of them. Okay, start counting it down. I haven't seen Kathy Bauer in a while, but she's okay. I know that they were having power outages in Texas. I saw her, saw her a couple minutes the one day. Okay, we got it, Nancy. Congratulations, Nancy. These are awesome. These are really cool. What time is it? Okay. Guys, that's going to conclude our auction for the day because Renee and Joe and Chris and JJ are getting ready to start up, or they are started. So you guys make sure to head on over to Flipping Flamingos auction. They are doing right now, 4 o'clock today. Tell them Mr. Buys a Lot sent you. Go over there, hang out with them. They're a fun bunch. You guys can make adult into windows there as well because they like them. Tell them Mr. Buys a Lot sent you with a big swing. Yep. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Party on. So hopefully I'll see you guys over there. Once I get home, I'll go and check out their auction as well. So we will see everybody here tomorrow from 1 until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Mr. Buys a Lot. And we will have more great stuff. We have some toys. We'll definitely have a bunch of comic books tomorrow. I have something Pokemon related. We're going to have some posters tomorrow, uh, some movie poster stuff, and some other items. So we will see everybody tomorrow. Thank you, everybody who's here. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on your way out. It greatly helps our channel. And we will see everybody then. Mr. Buys a Lot. Pam and Kim signing off. Have a great night.